Wow, you're great. I know. Oh, man, I picked a good boat. It's the best crew ever. Ah, oh, now go leave me alone before I push you off the boat again. All right. <laughs> and he just drops the sword and goes back to swapping the deck. Happy as can be. She just starts stretching and meditating. Does this boat have a figurehead on it, like at the front? Yes, it does. Would you like to tell me what you want it to be? Oh, I was picturing just mermaid with a huge rack. That's where I was. <laughs> Maybe the rack is um, more interactive. It's like... <laughs> it, j- it would jiggle physics. <laughs> <laughs> the boobs are like two orbs inside a hollowed out area. So as the waves go up and down, they shift and roll with the waves as you go. And you could constantly hear them turning inside the sockets. Which is so exciting for what I was going to say. And I'm not going to change what I was going to say because of it. I was going to say I was just going to be like sitting on top of the, the figurehead. And I think I still am. I'm just bobbing and weaving with the mermaid tit. You're sitting over it and just casually rolling the boobs with your feet. Like you're not even thinking about it. <laughs> it's a fun stimming exercise. I just wanted somewhere fun to be that's out of the way. I think Rory's letting all of the all of the uh, non-paragon, all the real world feelings back in a little bit of like, wow, I was in the way a lot today. You're on the front of a ship and there's, you know, seawater and blasting. You see a dolphin once in a while. It's getting dark <laughs> at night, but it's still pretty magical. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just where I'm hanging out. It's just off to the side, hanging out with the mermaid and her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> 